So you want to count duplicate rows in your data. First step is to concatenate or join all the values together in each row. Now you want to look for a function either called concat or concatenate. Now you're more likely to have concatenate than you are concat, but I'll show you how to use concat first of all. Very simple to use. All you're going to do is select the particular row that you want to join values together in, and it will do exactly that. Now, if you don't have concat, use concatenate. And what you have to do is basically select each cell separated by a comma in your row. Close the bracket, press enter. And using either function, basically you'll get a text string which joins together all the values in that row. Then you would copy that formula down. Next, I need to count how many times each of these text strings appear in this column. And I can use the COUNTIF function to do that. The range would be the column of concatenated text. And I do need to lock that reference. So I'm using F4 on my keyboard. That gives me the dollars. If F4 doesn't work for you, then please type the dollars in, comma. And the criteria will be the particular text string that you're counting the number of occurrences of. So it's H4. And if I press enter and then copy this down, you can see that it shows me how many times each text string appears. So for example, this one here, appears once, twice. This one here appears once, twice, three times. Now I can then apply conditional formatting based on these results. What I would do is I'd select my original list, go to conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And in the box down here, type in equals, then select the first cell that you wrote your count if in. In my case, that's I4. And what we've got to do is think about these dollars. Now, you want to take the dollar that appears before the number out of the formula. And basically, that's saying that the criteria for our conditional formatting is always in column I, but within different rows within that column. And the test is whether it is greater than one. So then I choose a format for cells that meet that criteria. So I'll just choose that orange background and it's picked out all of the duplicates. Now, as we have it at the moment, it's highlighting the first occurrence of the duplicated row. That may be exactly how you want it, but if you don't want the first occurrence to be highlighted, you need to do a slightly different count if. And with this count if, the range reference is slightly different. It will be H4 colon H4, and you only want to lock the first cell reference within that range. And that mean as we copy the formula down, this range reference will grow. Our criteria is H4. Now, if I press enter and copy this down, you can see that Whereas in my first formula, it's indicated that this is a duplicate row, which it is. In this formula, it's saying, well, that's the first occurrence. So you only have a count of one. And that's because it's only counting within this range. Once you get down to here, the range is grown to include all of these cells. So it appears twice in that range. Now to change the conditional formatting so it uses this count if, in column J, what I would do is I'd select my data, go to conditional formatting, manage rules, select the rule that I've created, click on edit rule, and change the range reference to J4. Click on OK, click on OK. And now it doesn't highlight the original rows, only the duplicate versions. Now, if you're going to be updating your table on a regular basis, I would recommend that you house your data in an Excel table. So if I click somewhere in the data, go to insert and then table, my table already has headers and I'll click on OK. So for example, if I added another row to this data, let's copy 
one of these records, you see that it automatically adds the formulas for the new row and the conditional formatting. And that happens like that because we're in an Excel table. So what I can then do is just hide these columns. And my table will continue to work. If I add another new row as a duplicate, the conditional formatting automatically gets applied. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.